Carl Sagan, a renowned astronomer and science communicator, possessed an unparalleled ability to ignite our imaginations and foster a sense of wonder about the universe. His captivating storytelling and profound insights into the cosmos continue to inspire generations. Sagan's cosmic perspective rooted in scientific understanding emphasized the interconnectedness of all things and our shared heritage as children of the stars. Sagan's legacy extends beyond his scientific contributions. He possessed a unique gift for making complex scientific concepts accessible to the public, igniting a passion for exploration and discovery in countless individuals. His seminal work, Cosmos, A Personal Voyage, remains a timeless masterpiece that eloquently guides viewers through the wonders of the universe. I strongly recommend you to check it out. Through his writings, television series and public lectures, Sagan eloquently conveyed the awe-inspiring scale and beauty of the cosmos, while also emphasizing the importance of critical thinking, scientific literacy and the pursuit of knowledge. His enduring message continues to resonate today, urging us to embrace our cosmic connection and strive for a greater understanding of our place in the universe. The human body is a marvel of nature, but have you ever considered the origin of the elements that compose our being? We are, quite literally, stardust. The atoms in our bodies were forged in stars billions of years ago. This cosmic alchemy, called stellar nucleosynthesis, creates life-essential elements. When stars explode as supernovae, they scatter these elements, forming new stars, planets and life. Deep within the fiery hearts of stars, a remarkable transformation unfolds. Stellar nucleosynthesis, the process by which elements are created, is a cosmic dance of immense energy, pressure and time. It is within these stellar furnaces that the basic ingredients for life itself are forged. The process begins with hydrogen, the most abundant element in the universe. Under the crushing pressure and intense heat found in a star's core, Hydrogen atoms are forced together, overcoming their natural repulsion. This fusion process releases an enormous amount of energy, which powers the star and causes it to shine. As hydrogen is consumed, the star's core contracts and heats up even further. This allows for the fusion of heavier elements such as helium to begin. Helium, in turn, can fuse to form carbon, oxygen and other elements essential for life. Through a series of these fusion reactions, stars act as cosmic factories, churning out the elements that make up everything we see around us. The understanding of stellar nucleosynthesis, the process by which elements are created in stars, owes much to the pioneering work of astrophysicist Fred Hoyle. Hoyle's insights revolutionized our understanding of the origins of the elements and the interconnectedness of the cosmos. Hoyle's most significant contribution was his theory of stellar nucleosynthesis, which he developed in the 1940s and 50s. Hoyle proposed that elements heavier than hydrogen and helium the two lightest elements are synthesized in the cores of stars through a series of nuclear reactions. Hoyle's theory was met with skepticism at first as it required a deep understanding of nuclear physics and the conditions within stars. However, his predictions were later confirmed by observations of the abundance of elements in stars and in the interstellar medium. Hoyle's work provided the foundation for our modern understanding of the origin of the elements and the evolution of the universe. This correlates to Sagan's views of the universe where he stated that we come from the stars, that we come from the cosmos. 
the cosmos, the universality of life's building blocks, the elements that constitute life as we know it, carbon, hydrogen, nitrogen, oxygen, phosphorus, and sulfur, are not unique to Earth. They are found throughout the cosmos, woven into the very fabric of the universe. This cosmic tapestry of elements points to a profound realization. The ingredients for life are not confined to our planet, but are scattered far and wide across the universe. The universality of these elements is revealed through various scientific methods, including spectroscopy, which analyzes the light emitted by stars and galaxies, revealing their chemical composition. These studies consistently show the presence of life essential elements in distant stars and galaxies. Furthermore, the discovery of organic molecules, the building blocks of life in meteorites, comets and interstellar clouds, provides further evidence for the widespread distribution of life's ingredients. These findings suggest that the potential for life may exist beyond our planet, in countless other corners of the universe. Echoes of creation spectroscopic insights and meteoritic evidence. Scientists employ a range of sophisticated tools and techniques to study the composition of celestial objects and unravel the mysteries of the cosmos. Two such tools, spectroscopy and meteorite analysis, have provided compelling evidence for the shared cosmic origin of life's building blocks. Spectroscopy, the study of the interaction between matter and electromagnetic radiation allows scientists to determine the chemical composition of stars, galaxies and nebulae. By analyzing the light emitted or absorbed by these objects, scientists can identify the unique spectral lines associated with different elements. Meteorites, fragments of asteroids and other celestial bodies that have fallen to Earth offer a tangible link to the early solar system and the processes that shaped our planet. Analysis of meteorites has revealed the presence of amino acids, the building blocks of proteins and other organic molecules, suggesting that the ingredients for life were present in the early solar system. Now let's talk about a very beautiful thing. Pale Blue Dot, a cosmic perspective on humanity's place. In 1990, Voyager 1 captured Earth as a tiny pale blue dot, altering our perspective on our place in the cosmos. Sagan insisted that the Voyager 1 should look back. Voyager 1 spacecraft, as it exited the solar system, turning its camera back to photograph Earth from a distance of about 3.7 billion miles, the image shows Earth as a tiny pale dot in a sunbeam. Our pale blue dot is the only home we know, calling for unity and environmental stewardship, emphasizing the planet's fragility and the vastness of the cosmos. With this in mind, we have awe and wonder, the spiritual dimension of the cosmos. The vastness of the universe, with its billions of galaxies, each containing billions of stars, has the power to evoke a sense of awe and wonder, that transcends cultural and religious boundaries. This cosmic perspective rooted in scientific understanding can foster a sense of interconnectedness, humility, and a profound appreciation for the beauty and mystery of existence. Carl Sagan, a staunch advocate for science and reason, recognized the spiritual dimension of our relationship with the cosmos. He wrote, the cosmos is within us. We are made of star stuff. We are a way for the universe to know itself. Sagan believed that science and spirituality are not mutually exclusive, but rather complementary ways of exploring the universe and our place within it. The awe and wonder inspired by the cosmos can serve as a source of inspiration, creativity, and a deeper understanding of our place in the grand tapestry of existence.